27 hearts beat! Before the video starts, we're gonna do something new. We're gonna read these roasts between Methods and Silly. Methods is part of the Toronto Ultra and Silly is part of the Los Angeles Gorillas. Both of them are in the Call of Duty League, the professional Call of Duty players out of the 48 players. That's it. It's only 48 players in the league that are starters. So they're going at each other on Twitter. It's getting pretty heated and I need you to comment and let me know who you think run the, won this roast war. Methods start off by saying, Silly is charging $75 for coaching. So whoever buys that from him, give me 250 bucks and I'll help you unlearn whatever he teaches you. Silly replies, you've been on a good team for five years longer than me and I have a fraction of my earnings. That was solid, solid roast back. You had to convince a main AR or convince players from outside the US that you can compete with all the other main ARs. Met this team on Toronto Ultra, they're all from Europe. So that's why Silly said that. It's about earnings for you. But the journey for me that kind of felt like a troll apply from methods that fluke event you won will happen again talking about world war ii champs when they won past two you had a losing record against yours truly p.s i'd love to know which good teams besides world war ii zebra tattoo <laughs> madagascar character because silly has like a tattoo and it looks like a zebra and stuff and then silly goes past two years i'll let you have mw but you cost it blast on land at chance really upset you came at me crazy when i even bought your book the book that's a good reply how to get dropped three easy steps from phase rise and optic gaming and then methods goes five billion stadium or five billion dollar stadium with a dollar store team Ooh. Silly replies, you're lucky those three didn't take that 500k offer for your spot. Method tweeted something, but we didn't see it. And then uh, he deleted it. So Silly replied, Phoenix got you through last year when you had nine players on standby for you. Truly blessed. Because Toronto Ultra had 10 people on the roster. They were swapping players to see what the best fit is, which actually isn't that bad of an idea for some organizations. But let me know who you guys think this, who won this Twitter roast in the comments down below. If there's any more entertaining stuff from the COD League that the pros are doing, I'll make sure to highlight it in my video videos so let me know let's get into the video and let's teach you guys some call of duty black ops cold war what is good everyone and this is an insane gameplay on nuketown before you scroll to the end and check do you think i dropped 100 kills or 100 elims on this game let me know down in the comments if you have faith let me know if you don't think i did it this gameplay is insane i really think you're gonna enjoy it um but now i'm here to tell you a bunch of things you might still be doing wrong or mistakes you might be making in cold war to make the game harder make you not get as many kills maybe not as many wins like i'm here to tell you a couple things that you can help improve your game help improve your experience of call of duty overall and also i actually found a new way to slide cancel in this game i don't know should i make a video of the new slide cancel like it's really simple but it kind of destroys your controller to be honest so when i do it i feel kind of guilty like i'm gonna rip my analog sticks off but um let me know if you want, want me to make a video showing you guys a new slide cancel because i could definitely make that happen okay so first and foremost you guys absolutely need to make sure you're using the aim response curve like you need to make sure you're messing with it because personally i think dynamic is the best it was the best in modern warfare it's probably the best in this game i've been using it and playing really well in pubs and competitive ever since so i think the only two you should use are dynamic and standard if you're more of a newer player still getting used to it maybe just use standard but Dynamic is, in my opinion, the best. I upload a video on my channel talking about that if you want to learn the reasons behind that. But Dynamic is just good for the players that are very reactionary and snap on to different um, characters on the map. Like, they're moving pretty quickly and have to go back and forth. So, it doesn't slow you down. And here's another huge thing for either my console players or my PC players. Because it really depends. It really depends on your setup for this setting field of view which is very important because if you play like a super high field of view but you're on ps4 you think you're like moving so quick and doing this stuff but you're still moving at the same speed the field of view just tricks you and yeah so you want to find a comfortable field of view i think 90 or 95 is good for a console i have not played on ps5 or xbox x but i would uh pretty sure and pretty much assume that like a hundred 95 to 100 would be good for another console because I think you do get some more frames on there and depending on your monitor as well because your monitor gives you all those um, frames so it kind of depends on that but I have like a super nice PC monitor I play on PC so I go to 100 I believe right now is what I put it to 100 or 105 one of those two and it's like perfect because you're moving fast it looks cool but it's not unrealistic to where you think you're like Superman or the Flash going throughout the map and you just get yourself killed a lot by running around and so you definitely don't want to get yourself killed um, another very important thing that I preach in all my videos and all my tips and tricks is dictating the tempo of the game 
there are certain times in the game where you know you can't do certain things. Like you can get to the halfway point of the map and then you gotta get a couple kills and then you can push up further. Sometimes you're gonna be spawn trapped in your base. So don't try and just sprint out and go crazy if you know people are gonna be spawn trapping you. Post up, get to the head glitch, pre-aim up, kill the guys when they challenge you. And then once you start clearing them out of your base, you make ways into your building. Then you kill them again, you get another wave, you make ways into the middle part of the map. You kill them again, you make ways into their base. Like it, it's steps, like you don't wanna skip steps on Call of Duty unless you have a crazy route and you got through to their base and you know that the team didn't see you. Another huge thing here is when you're, let's say your team gets like a four or five down and you're playing Nuketown. Someone calls a napalm strike and he gets a four piece. You get another kill with your AK-74U. You see that five down, you should instantly be sprinting to their side of the map because that means they're all gonna be off spawn. Now is the perfect time to spawn trap them. So when you see all those kills get, like all the kills in the kill feed, get to their side of the base because this is your opportunity to take over the map, take over the tempo of the game, control everything, get to the power position that you most desire that's going to get you the most kills that you feel comfortable playing make sure to be making progress up the map and you get those kills don't get five kills and then sit on your side of the map like you're giving the other team time to come off spawn push back up the map and then meet you at the halfway point when you could take their side of the map kill them in their spawn while they're sprinting off and make them super uncomfortable don't just sit back and play safe because there's times when you should sit back and play safe when they have map control and you have to fight for it and it's a stalemate but when you have the kills and have the control make sure you take it like don't just sit back and do that Another big thing that is very important is in public matches, using the right stuff on your guns. In this gameplay, I'm using the AK-74U, but I am using a silencer on it because a lot of people were commenting, why don't you use a silencer on your gun? And I said, honestly, it makes it more challenging. I need to play smarter. I need to be ready for more action because I'm not, because I'm popping up on the mini map. But when you have a silencer on, you don't do that. At least the one I have on, you don't pop up on the mini map at all when you're shooting. And as you can see, it helped a lot because uh, they don't know where I'm shooting from. So I'm in their base, just getting a bunch of kills, spawn trapping them, doing all that good stuff. So make sure you're using the best weapons to help you stay alive longer and get kills. So using a silencer is incredible in this game, especially on a small map like Nuketown on your AR or SMGs. So the other team is very confused where you're killing or where you're shooting them from. Okay, this is also a very big help, especially for Nuketown, because Nuketown is such a crazy, chaotic map. There's so many nades, so many landmines, so much, like everything. Sometimes you get a 10 kill streak going, and you run out of ammo. So using perk greed is very helpful because you can have flak jacket and attack mask on so you don't get stunned or naded. Then you can have like assassin on to help you earn your streaks faster when you get kills and then scavenger or you can use gearhead to get like your field upgrades, so kind of whatever you want to use. And then for like the last perk, you can use ghost cold blooded so you don't get seen by UAVs or AI streaks or ghost and ninja. So people don't hear you when you're in their base. You can mix and match with perk greed to whatever is most comfortable for you. Personally, I think flak Black Jack attack mask and then like scavenger assassin or scavenger gearhead um, and then ghost ninja or cold-blooded ninja I like to use ghost ninja when they have spy planes and stuff early on in the game but when they start getting their bigger streaks I like to switch to cold-blooded and um, ninja as well so I don't get seen by the AI streaks the red boxes and over me and I don't get targeted that is my favorite perk read to use and I think that's what you guys should be using, especially on Nuketown. Last but not least, this pisses me off to say, and I hate dying by these, but it's honestly the best play to make. And I don't know why they made shotguns a secondary, but use a secondary shotgun. Honestly, it's so, so good. It's so annoying when someone runs out of ammo of their Krig, they switch their shotgun that's fully stacked and get a three piece because of it. Like it's so frustrating, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I know it sucks for me and I know it sucks for some people who don't use the shotguns, but it is the good play to do. And I'm not gonna lie to you. It will help you get a lot of kills, especially in the up close encounters. And it's very easy to shoot. It does a lot of damage. Shotguns are great. So use a shotgun, make sure to rank that up and put that on as your secondary over the pistol. Or you can use dual wield pistols because dual wield are very good up close if they if like each pistol hits you with one bullet you get killed like you get melted so using dual wheels or secondary shotguns is very very overpowered especially when you're in their base on nuketown trust me i've experienced it i've died so many times from it <sighs> 
it gets me frustrated even just thinking about it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all the tips and tricks I have for now. Hopefully this can really help uh, improve your game and hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos. If you have, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Thank you all for watching and you can still watch the end of this gameplay if you like, because it's pretty crazy. And we do get the 100 bomb, because if you made it to this point, I'm gonna let you know, we do get the 100 bomb, so you gotta finish it out. It's about to end soon. But thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully this helps. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, my name's Attach, and I'm out. Peace.